burst pipes, lacks of heating, facial rivers in the streets. The communal collapse affected at least 43 regions of the Russian Federation. Russians in 2023 sent Putin more than 107,000 complaints about problems in the housing and utility sector and thus set a record. For example, in December they addressed 339 appeals. This is twice as many as the year earlier and three times as many as in December 2021. But Moscow does not plan to renew the system of housing and communal services. We need to spend an unmeasurable amount of money to somehow localize these accidents, neutralize them and return to normal life. Now we are talking about spending 10 to 20 trillion in three years. And of course, no one will give such money, as all the money is spent on military purposes, so this task becomes unsolvable. Russians whose homes have been left without heat and water continue to receive utility bills with amounts that are unaffordable for many. In recent years, the debts of citizens for public utilities have grown dramatically, approaching 2 trillion rubles in total. According to official estimates, between 45% and 60% of all utility networks need repair, with the figure increasing every year, as well as the number of accidents. In Chukotka, which Putin visited for the first time in his 23 years of rule, the figure reaches about 90%. Heating issues are just the tip of the iceberg. Though Russia is the world's top gas exporter, only 11 of its 83 administrative regions are fully connected to the gas pipeline network. From the publication in Financial Review. Large-scale spending on aggression against Ukraine, underfunding of the houses and utility sector, corruption and a severe shortage of personnel, primarily due to mobilization, are the main problems that have caused the collapse of Russia's housing and utilities system. However, the Kremlin seems to have figured out how to solve the labor shortage. The population will simply have their tariffs raised once again. The Russian authorities are preparing to solve the problem of a shortage of labor in the housing and utilities sector by raising tariffs for consumers. In this connection, the Ministry of Construction has been instructed to prepare proposals for amendments to normative legal acts in the sphere of pricing of regulated public utilities, from the publication in the Moscow Times. The Russian government is systematically reducing expenditures on public utilities. Thus, in 2023, more than 850 billion rubles were spent on housing and utility sector from the federal budget. 818 billion rubles were planned for 2024, 455 billion for 2025, and only 360 billion are planned in 2026. Meanwhile, Russia's spending on the war against Ukraine continues to grow. In 2024, the Federation will spend about 10.8 trillion rubles. In other words, almost every third ruble of the Russian taxes will be spent on the war against Ukraine. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Valeriana Kapelova, UATV News.